Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video and of course you can see on the screen that Baidao has now partnered with Elrond, Elrond Gold, okay, uh, EGLD, so they'll be implementing that as a collateral asset, okay, and um, of course we've said before on the channel we expect to see many more of these coming, we recently saw Dash, Digibyte and now we've got Elrond since the ICO ended, right guys, so great news, great to see uh, more names like this, big names in the crypto space uh, coming onto the Baidao ecosystem. All right guys, but this wasn't actually even gonna be the main point of my video, but as I was getting ready to start setting up for this video, uh, I saw this news come out on the Telegram. So, you know, good to be able to include that as well. All right, if we go over onto the Baidao chart, what we can see is we've seen a little bit of a bearish pullback, okay? You can see a triple top, okay? We've got one, two three okay and then after that we've seen it fall down to the downside now fair play to you if you did sell out and managed to get out on that um you get people leaving stupid comments talking about you know the weak hands getting shaken out and stuff like that i mean what is this poker or something you know we're not gambling here you know we're managing our risk we're trading you know we're investing all right guys so when people start leaving comments like that in telegram groups and all that sort of stuff and just like hate comments because people take profits or they sell out and they want to buy back in lower or they're just protecting their capital you know i think sometimes it just depends on how much you've got invested in the market if you're a small investor and you've only got like 1k 2k i mean i mean you might not feel like it's worth you know selling just to try and catch a dip you know if you've got 10 20 30k in an asset you know and it's falling like 10 20 30 percent 40 percent in this case i believe in fact let me just measure that again all right if we go from here we're looking at a 35 percent uh, decrease if we go from the very top it's probably going to be a little bit more actually if we go from the previous top we're looking at 37%, but it reached lows of 39%, almost 40%, okay, on the previous uh, pullback, all right, guys? So, yeah, I mean, fair play to you if you if you sold out and, you know, you, you're looking to find a new position and a safer entry, by the way, you know, because it would even be safer now if you did buy into um, anything above the um, this previous high. Okay, that would be a safe entry all right guys it's also a safer entry to get in down here it's also a safer entry to get in at my target down here all right guys obviously we're getting a little bit of a bounce now all right now it could just break through we've just seen the news from Baidao about Elrond so that might even bring a few more buyers into the market but um yeah I mean you know you got to expect the unexpected in this game sometimes and you've got you've got to be able to manage your risk this isn't you know on Binance or anything like that and, and we'll talk about that in a minute actually but this isn't on Binance at the moment it's not like you can set a stop loss okay um or a stop limit you know preferably but um yeah it is on uniswap so everything has to be done manually all right guys now i would have liked to um um to be able to kind of you know get out and avoid all of this fall this pullback over here unfortunately i was up till 4 a.m in the morning speaking to someone in my telegram group and we were kind of going back and forth about a few different projects but um I actually thought that it was going back up by the time I, I went to sleep, okay? Because it's very rare that you see a triple top. You know, everyone talks about a double top. And then you get, uh, on this occasion, we had a triple top. And so we looked like we had that W pattern. So I was looking at around here and I thought, okay, that's clearly going up. You know, I can get some sleep. But um, yeah, by the time I woke up in the morning, it was down here. I managed to catch this bounce over here and get out, okay? And it felt a little bit more. And now I'm waiting to see where my next entry is, okay? Um, you know, right now does look like it could be potentially be a bit of an entry, but um, maybe not. You know, it could just get rejected here and continue on to the downside. So my, my ultimate target will be down here. And I've got a nice bag of Tether USDT ready to launch, ready to um, pounce and buy some buy down all the way down here. That will be a great entry. 
Alright guys, but you know, I could be wrong and it could just, you know, continue to the upside. But at the end of the day, this is a triple top to me. I don't want to find my win and um, get wrecked, you know. Not not get wrecked, because at the end of the day, I still believe in the long-term potential. But if I can increase my bag, then that's what I'm looking to do, because that's my strategy. And that's how I play this game. Alright guys? You know, a lot of people will tell you to just huddle, huddle, huddle. You know, um, I won't tell you that. I'll tell you, do that if that's what you want to do, if that's the best strategy for you. If you don't have time to do all this jumping out and jumping back in, if you got a day job and you're, you know, you're you're committed to that, you're busy, you know, you got family running around, you know, you're on holiday, you're you're doing all sorts. There's all sorts of reasons why somebody might, you know, be better, um, feel better about just holding, not worrying about it. And if you're doing that, then you're somebody that doesn't need to be watching the market on a daily basis. You're definitely somebody that shouldn't be in the telegram groups talking about weak hands you know it's just ridiculous but anyway moving on um so now i'm just waiting to see what's going to happen okay if we do come all the way back down here it we could even see it come all the way back all the way back down to you know these lows uh, as low as, as as down here okay and we could see a massive double bottom formation you know um, if we go on a one day time frame, we still haven't seen a lot of price action. All right, guys. So we could still see a big pullback all the way down to these levels down here. That could still happen. It won't be out of the ordinary to see something like that. All right, guys. Obviously, if you go on a one day chart, you can see we've had a massive price increase. You know, some sort of sell off, some sort of pullback was bound to come um, eventually. We can't go on a lower time frames and look at um, um, s some of those smaller pullbacks. Um, not even smaller because it's around about the same size but let me just tell you what i'm to show you what i'm talking about we can't even go on here and say that oh look this was the you know the, the the biggest pullback that we would see and now it's going to the moon in my previous video i did think that we were just going to break into price discovery and continue up now we did get price discovery and that doesn't normally that that doesn't always you know drive the price all the way up you know this could still take some time to mature and play out in terms of volume in terms of accumulation but um if we go on a higher time frame back to the higher time frame okay so if we see this come all the way down here and we start to see it leveling out a bit that will be the accumulation zone all right guys we haven't had time to see any accumulation yet this is not accumulation this is fomo okay so we just have to wait and see how that plays out in the longer term so just please bear that in mind also a lot of people are talking about the fact that um uh, there's there's a rumor about uh binance listing by now because there was a picture of a big usdt pair now it hasn't been announced by binance and i don't know where anyone got that from but it is actually on binance so you can't find it through searching you can only find it through a link so that may not be it may or may not be true by that has addressed it binance has not addressed it so we'll have to wait and see whether that's true or not but other youtubers are talking about it putting pictures of it we'll have to wait and see like, I, I can't really comment on that until it happens all right guys but it's good to speculate you know price moves on speculation all right but um yeah um another thing people are talking about is a token burn now um obviously we always have to be weary about the fact that there are whales and there is manipulation in this game it just happens it is there's no regulation stopping certain things from happening all right guys so if everyone's expecting the price to go to you know a dollar on the 20th of october when the token band comes a lot of people might be disappointed um, we'll have to wait and see how it plays out at the end of the day i'm not saying it is going to go up to the moon i'm not saying it's not all i'm saying is there's always going to be some whales ready to manipulate everybody in this market and dump bags on people's heads you know there's going to be a lot of liquidity provided at that point if everyone's holding waiting for a big pump and whales are going to be able to sell their bags and get out you know and um you know we might see a crazy sell-off so the price could just increase up until then and then dump off the price could just like stabilize and then you know boom when we get to that date but you know we always have to remember there is market manipulation and um also another thing is we didn't expect the token supply to be four billion okay but um yeah when when they do sell uh, do the token burn for we know uh, we're expecting like you know more than half of that to be burnt so we could come all the way down to about 1.8 billion or something like that but um 
yeah let's just be careful and be cautious all right guys i'm bullish on buy down long term all right guys but you know i'm, I'm about common sense and um, giving an alternative perspective on this channel so if you do enjoy that sort of thing make sure you subscribe like comment down below also go over onto twitter and follow me over there at crypto lightsaber l-y-t-s-a-b-e-r and i'll see you guys in the next video if you would like to support the channel there's actually a way you can do that now while getting something out of it for yourself we have a new clothing brand called Parabolic. This is a brand dedicated to the crypto space. I use the name Parabolic because that's the kind of movement we like to see in those charts. Now there's a range of products you can choose from, from hoodies, vests, socks, even face masks during this pandemic time. And we're using the lightsaber to represent the YouTube channel. Okay, there'll be a link in the description so you can go and check that out. Got a range of different colors, range of different products, all right? And what I'll actually be doing is for the first 100 people that do actually buy something if you send me a message what i'll do is i'll send you a free invite for the new telegram group which will be a paid telegram group okay after that okay so the first 100 people you will get a invite sent to you for free all right even if you buy something as small as a mug you will get that just to show my appreciation for your support as well okay guys so you've got a chance to be the exclusive members of the new group you've also got a chance to get your hands on some exclusive merchandise so link in the description get on over to the website and make your purchase now remember the trend is your friend